Today I'll be showing you how to change the site icon for your WordPress website. So here I am inside of the WP Admin area. The site icon, by the way, is just going to be this little thing here you see in your browser tab. So every site has a site icon. Some of them use a custom icon, some use a default icon. In this case, it's using our website's logo and it's just sort of cropping it to fit inside that little site icon area. So let's customize the icon. We can do that by going to Appearance Editor, and that's going to take us to what's called the Site Editor. This is available for block themes if you're using WordPress 5.9 or newer. So make sure you have the newest version of WordPress. Once we're here, we need to come over here and click on the main content area off to the right. So now you'll see what's called the Page Settings sidebar, and you can access this using this little icon here if it's not enabled already. Then just come over here to where it says Summary and Templates and click on the little template link. And what we're going to do is just edit the page template we're using across our site. So I'll click Edit Template. So we have two main areas here in the page template. We have the header and the footer area. So both of these are going to have our site logo, which is what we want to edit. So you just need to select whatever area has your site logo. And you can do that by hovering your mouse over that area and clicking on it. So in this case, we're selecting the header. And by the way, make sure your mouse is going to be in edit mode. So you can click this little icon and click edit. So we have the header selected. Hover your mouse over the logo and click to select the logo. We can come over here to the right side. Now we're in what's called the block settings sidebar or the little block tab inside your settings. And so you'll see this is my site logo that is displayed right there. But if I scroll down, you'll see under settings, we have this little toggle that says use as site icon. So right now by default, it is cropping this to fit as our little site icon there. So let me just toggle that off and let's click save and save again. So now we are no longer using our logo as our site icon. Let's insert the graphic we want to use instead. So what you're going to see at the end of this little paragraph is a link that says site icon settings. So we're going to click that link and that's going to bring you here to the old customizer. So they've been phasing out the customizer as they've been introducing the site editor. However, there are still remnants of the customizer here. They'll probably do away with this eventually. But for now, you're going to see this little section called site icon and you'll see this little paragraph and you'll see it'll tell you that the size for your site icon should be 512 by 512. So what we'll do is click select site icon and I've already uploaded a site icon here. You can always go to upload files and select a file from your computer. But with my site icon selected here, which you'll see is 512 by 512, I'll click select. And that'll insert that as my site icon and it'll give me a nice little preview. By the way, if you already had this here, just click change image to add the new site icon. But once you're ready, come over here and click publish and exit out of here. So that is just going to take you back to your uh, home page in this case. You will see the new site icon here. So now what you got to do is just exit out of here. Now we are back here to our site editor. So what you can do to see if this worked is just click the little preview icon here. It says view and click view site. And now you'll see our site displays with the new site icon in the browser tab. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video, including a link to my WordPress simplified course on Udemy. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.